What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you 10 more tips and tricks for iOS 9.2.2 and 9.2.3 which is still in beta but they work there as well. So iOS 10 is just around the corner like in three days, in three days exactly we will have the WWDC and there Apple will announce it, it will be exciting but now for these days uh, you know I wanted to share 10 more tips and tricks for you so you can, you know, take advantage of them while you are still on iOS 9. So the first one is actually shoot secret video. And, um, you know, so while your phone is locked, just um, sli slide up the camera, go into video mode. It's a, bit of, a little bit hard here because, okay, so, yep, go into video mode and then start recording a video and after you start recording tap the home button and then wait for your device to dim just hold there and wait for your device to dim so now it's recording a video and no one can tell you recording a video because your screen is off so you can you can go like this you know like this you are recording a video in the background currently so now if you press anything home button, power button, anything, the video will stop. Did you hear that sound? So that means the video just stopped. And now, when you go into the camera, there is the video right there. Start So the next one, how to zoom in on a photo more than iOS allows you to. So as you can see, I've got that photo and now I can zoom in only so much. iOS doesn't allow me to zoom in more. As you can see, and if you want to zoom in more, there is a simple trick. Just edit the photo, go into rotation here and rotate it just a little bit, like so much. And then get it back to normal, tap done. And now, you can actually zoom in as much as you want, as you can see, and now, well, there is, uh, you know, when you want to get a black screen, black screen wallpaper, you don't have to google black screen wallpaper, you just take a photo of something black, use this trick and take a screenshot, and there you have a black screen wallpaper right there. So, okay, uh, you know, that's, yeah, that's a neat little trick to zoom in on a photo as much as you want. So, did you know, you can actually search in Spotlight by using emojis. So, if you open the emoji keyboard, I didn't know this until now, this is really amazing. If you open the emoji keyboard and enter an emoji here into Spotlight, for example, this one, it's gonna show me a note where I used, a, you know, I used tons, tons of this emoji and you can search by using emojis, for example, for food. If you enter a pizza emoji, it's gonna show you pizza places nearby. And it's so cool, guys. You can search Spotlight by using emojis. I didn't know that by now, until now. It's really cool. So how to remove the labels of your folders. As you can see, my folders here have no labels. Well, it's very simple. You select a folder, for example, this one right there, and um, you rename it. And instead of the name, you paste this weird symbol right there. So when you paste that, as you can see, it disappeared. Now the folder will have no label because it's a symbol that um, iOS can't sh uh, display right there. And um, when you open it, it, you have this, uh, you know, when you open the folder, you have it right there, the symbol, but that's not a problem. So this is how we get folders with no labels. Pretty cool. And once again, the link to this symbol will be down below in the description, so you can copy it and use it for your folders. So the next trick is actually something I showed you in, a, in an earlier video, but I'm gonna show, you, show it to you again. So how to get circle folders on iOS. So first of all, you have to go to this website. So you have to go to this website here and select one of the folders. All the links, um, just keep in mind that all the links to everything you need will be down below in the description so you can find them there. So 
go go to this website and from here you have um, a ton of wallpapers from which you can choose from so just save one for example this one and then go ahead and set it as wallpaper so select uses wallpaper and doesn't matter if it if it is still a perspective it doesn't matter so I can't set it to perspective now because I have low power mode turned on but it doesn't matter if it's one or the other so let's set it to home screen as you can see we have circle folders so actually the you know the no text folders look very good with the circle theme <laughs> so how to put a folder inside a folder and create nested folders so you just want to select those folders by the way the round folders trick does not work on the first row of icons just keep that in mind so you put uh, the two folders on the top of your screen on the top row of the screen then you select the one that uh, you want to put inside the other one and then the other one you actually tap on the other one like this and when it's opened you just place the other folder inside and that's how you get nested folders you can repeat this trick and have a folder inside a folder inside a folder and so on so you can create nested folders using this trick and right there so how to hide system apps that you don't want to see on the home screen so have the first page completely full and the doc has to be completely full as well here and uh, so when you have the first page and the dock completely there is no space on them and um, so you select the app you want to hide drag it to the first page and put it in a folder but don't drop it get it out of the folder and as it's floating like this just drop it and as you can see it disappears and now it's gone from your home screen don't worry when you reboot your device it will be back and actually it's searchable through the spotlight search so you can find it there just keep that in mind and when you reboot your device it will be back on the home screen so how to put icons wherever you want them to be just like on android so if you want to put icons on random places on the home screen this is how you can do it as you can see i i have my icons here and there are no icons between them so usually you can do this on ios but I'm using this simple little trick and uh, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show it to you now so how do you place icons on random places on the home screen well I actually have two blank icons as you can see between those two icons and uh, how do you get this so you go to this website link will be below in the description you go to this website let's go back now um, it's called imt2iphone.net but link will be down below in the description so you go to this website you um, so you tap customize then tap custom mode and here um, you have to upload it, uh, the picture but my picture is already uploaded you basically have to take a screenshot of the page you want to customize and then you upload it here mine is already uploaded as you can see and uh, you select the places where you want the blank icons to be so for example if i want to have a blank icon here i select this spot add it to my home screen like this just add and now i have to actually put it where it belongs because it's not there i have to actually put it where it belongs here or actually wait it it belongs here you know on this wallpaper it doesn't matter because it's one color but if your wallpaper has you know a picture or something else the place is very important because otherwise it, it will not look blank so uh, you know put it right there and as you can see now if i put one more up here for example twitch as you can see there is a blank icon between them and I'm creating this illusion that I can put uh, icons wherever I want them to be on the home screen but actually I have blank icons here which are invisible and you know that's why 
this works. So neat little trick, very interesting and very cool. So this one I can't show you right now, but uh, if you if you want to get rid of, rid of an update, you can actually, um, you know, if you have a software update and you don't want to update, as I showed you last time, I'm going to show you again. Uh, so my iPhone is up to date right now, iOS um, 9.3.2 as you can see. So I don't have an update now, so I can't show you, but usually when you have an update, uh, it will be here. And when you delete it from here, um, you will actually ha no longer have this update until iOS redownloads it. So it's not permanent, but at least until iOS redownloads it, it, it uh, until it redownloads the update, uh, you have it gone and it won't, you know, uh, make you update, force you to update. And if you actually want to... Uh, want to delete that update permanently I will have a link down below in the description from where you can install an Apple TV profile on your iPhone so like this you trick you will actually trick your iPhone into thinking it's an Apple TV and this will hide the update because if you have a software update available for the iPhone uh, for example when iOS 9.3.3 comes out and then because it's still in beta and then you know uh, there is no no such an update no such update for the Apple TV uh, when you install the Apple TV profile on your iPhone it actually thinks it's an Apple TV and it won't display that update so this is how you permanently get rid of the update I can't show you now because I won't do it but if you want to do it um, I'll have a link to that Apple TV profile in the description so you can install it and uh, delete the, you know, get rid of software updates permanently if you want to do that. So, um, if you want to update, of course, you just delete the profile and that's it. How to get the old Instagram logo back? So, as you know, the Instagram logo changed and a lot of people don't like it. I personally like it, so I don't want to change it, but if you want to change it to the old one, just go to this website, of course, link will be down below in the description. Add it to the home screen and there is Instagram. So, and now when you open this, it will redirect you to the original Instagram app. So guys, there you go. 10 awesome tips and tricks for iOS 9.3.2 and 9.3.3, .3, so for the latest iOS. So, you know... All the links down, uh, all the links from this video will be down below in the description to all the websites you need to visit, and and um, iOS 10 is literally around the corner, just like yeah, exactly three days until Apple announces it. So stay tuned for that. Enjoy those tricks, and um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Peace out.